Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Word has come out from San Antonio, Texas at a stock show and rodeo. People who may have visited a cattle barn at the rodeo between February 11th and 14th need to be assessed for the possibility of contracting rabies. Yeah, here was the carnival. There was the uh, cattle area and the different um, expo halls. I have never heard of cows or cattle having rabies, but I suppose it is possible. Rabies can be spread through the saliva of an animal infected with the virus. And evidently only 20 people have ever survived uh, contracting rabies once the symptoms appear. Evidently the cow in question was a heifer, a brangus, um, and completely black. You can catch the virus from coming in contact with blood, urine, or feces. Also, the first symptoms of the rabies is fatigue, fever, flu-like symptoms, headache, and surprisingly, the incubation period can be either weeks or months. People who had their animals in close contact with this cow have been contacted and now they're notifying the public. So I was wondering if rabies vaccines are given to cattle. So I thought I would look it up on Google. It says there are effective rabies vaccinations available for humans, dogs, cats, horses, and cattle. It is recommended that producers who show cattle consider vaccinating those cattle for rabies. If those show animals contract rabies, there is more of a chance of exposure to humans. Signs of rabies in cattle is a sudden change in behavior, uh, progressive um, paralysis, ataxia, that would be muscle coordination, um, abrupt cessation of lactation in dairy animals, hypersensitivity, alertness, abnormal um, bellowing, um, paralysis of the throat, and drooling. So this would be something that's very serious. So then I wondered, how do you test a human for rabies? Evidently, they use uh, saliva, serum, spinal fluid, and skin biopsy of hair follicles at the nap of the neck. Yeah, they test that. They look for antibodies for rabies, for the rabies virus. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.